Once a year, this field in Birmingham, Alabama comes alive again as the Birmingham Barons return home to play the annual Rickwood Classic. This field has seen baseball legends such as Ty Cobb, Willie Mays, and Babe Ruth. And it is not only Alabama's oldest ballpark, this is America's oldest ballpark. So grab you some peanuts and Cracker Jacks because this is the Rickwood Classic. What's it like playing here at Rickwood Field? Well, this is actually my second season being back with the Barons. And obviously, since it's the oldest ballpark in the, in the country, in America, um, anytime you have something of that type of you know, size or that, that, that legacy, I guess, is, is just cool for everybody, especially in the state, something to rally around because it's unique to the state, it's unique to the city. It's a fun day for, for the staff and the players and everybody else, so we're excited. So uh, I heard you talking to the guys out there about, about uh, your, your impression of the field. You, you played here, right, or no? Oh, yeah, I played here in 67 and 68. Uh, uh, I was the opening day pitcher in 67 here, and this is where I got hit in the face with a line drive in about the third or fourth inning. <laughs> so I guess not all your memories of Brooklyn no. are good. Well, that one wasn't. I wish I wasn't there that day. How would you sum up the park just uh, overall? Just oh, it looks out. great. It looks uh, ten times better than it did when I, when I played here. Uh, you know, the grass is a lot nicer. I think the field kind of sets a little bit higher, too. I, th I remember it being a lot flatter. Uh, I remember the, the distance between home plate and the backstop was a long way, so if you threw a pass ball, the catchers were a little upset because they had to run all the way back to get them. So it's, uh, but it's still the same ballpark. <laughs> Did you get any autographs? Yes, ma'am. We got 12. You got 12? You've been, you've been counting them? Yes, ma'am. Is this y'all's first Rickwood Classic? Yes, ma'am. Are y'all excited to be here? Yes, ma'am. Now, who are y'all cheering for? We're cheering for the Cubs. You're cheering for the Cubs? Are they playing today? No, no. You know, I don't think they're playing today. What about the Birmingham Barons? Y'all cheering for them? Are y'all going to talk a little smack talk? Maybe. A little bit about the Friends of Rickwood and what what the organization does. We're the uh, nonprofit agency that's responsible for the restoration and revitalization of the ballpark. So we handle the management, the day-to-day -day operations, the fundraising, the scheduling, the marketing. Um, we're sort of a all-encompassing organization. This is the 21st annual, and so we're you know we feel like this the, the event has sort of established itself as mm -hmm. a as a annual community event that everybody looks forward to and we certainly do as well. Crowd is outstanding, the weather has been cooperative. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. I don't know how else to say it besides it just you just feel like you've taken a step back in time, you know. How long have you been working this? I've been this is either, I've lost track of this is either my 12th or my 13th uh, classic working the scoreboard. Is your son doing a good job up here? Uh, he is. He's my scout, my boss, uh, my lookout. But no, we're, he, he's having fun. That's what it's all about, being yeah. up here. So yeah. For the numbers, when you slide in the score, it, I was noticing that there's some there's some longer numbers and then some shorter numbers. Can, what, which one goes for which? Okay, the shorter numbers are for the uh, visitor slots up top, okay. and, and the longer ones are for the home slot, uh, the Baron slots down below. Do you find that a lot of people come up here and try to watch the game with you? Oh, absolutely, and we welcome that. I mean, yeah. Rickwood is a living museum, and yeah. we want people to experience baseball from all angles of the game. Mm -hmm. And so we encourage visitors to come up and spend a little time up here and take pictures, take selfies, whatever, yeah. whatever, uh, and just experience the joy of watching game, watching the game from, from a different perspective. into the Rickwood Classic? Uh, I think this is my third or fourth Rickwood Classic. And do you always dress up? I always wear the House of David uniform. House of David? House of David. They're a barnstorming team. Uh, I just love it. So do you, do you wear this only for the Rickwood Classic? Uh, I wear this 
every year for the Rickwood Classic, and then in Montgomery uh, on Sundays we have catch on the field, and I'll wear it to play catch on the field. Okay. Did you bring your glove with you? Absolutely, I do. Okay. I brought my glove with me, so I, and I went out, I'm looking for someone to throw with. So if you don't mind, I might throw with you for just oh, like that a little. Would be bit. awesome. I mean, you played in a lot of ballparks. So is, is it kind of lost on you when you walk into a park that you pitched in, uh, uh, or do you I, still remember? <laughs> oh, I remember the I remember the park. I remember the dugout. I remember the clubhouse. Uh, uh, you know, I remember the bleachers in right field and where I used to warm up down right uh, down right field line. You know, remember all those things. Uh, you know, I spent two years here, so uh, I remember a whole lot of it. Uh, but I had some good good times here. Uh, 67, we had the championship team here with uh, Reggie Jackson was here, uh, Dave Duncan, Joe Rudy. Some guys that I played with, I think Tony LaRusso might have spent a little bit of time here also. So we had some good players. Obviously, Birmingham's a football town, but is it fair to say it's a sneaky good baseball town too? Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's, minor leagues have been here forever. I mean, this is the oldest ballpark in the country, and I was lucky enough to play here for two years. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it. It was a baseball town when I played here, and uh, it was fun. 